and happy Friday, April 5th. Our theme this month is cooking and or books and or cookbooks, so I'm going to try to incorporate all three. So I'll just be making basic cookies. I will be using the Glastonbury Abbey 50th Anniversary Cookbook. Today we will be learning how to cook dromar, in parentheses Swedish, um, which is a recipe from Nicholas Ryan's Manor. They're like one happy family that will produce children that will be cooking. So you get your three-fourths a cup of sugar or, alternatively, a little over 200 milliliters of sugar. So you use two sticks. It is here that the sticks of butter will melt, but they're lucky because they have each other. So when your butter is properly melted or like one stick is swimming in the remains of the other one, you can mix it in with the sugar. At about the same time, you can add in 5 milliliters or 1 teaspoon of Davis baking powder. And you should specifically use Davis because it's okay. Next, you mix in 2 cups. Now you can add your 2 teaspoons or 10 milliliters of vanilla extract. Eventually, it should come out like this, kind of crumbly and easily sculpted. You don't have to, but I'm going to butter this pan because otherwise the cookies will stick and be gross. And roll them up into balls and place them on the sheet. Now you're going to need your jam of choice, and then a half teaspoon or just any small spoon. Sort of push down like that. Now you take your jam and you get a bit maybe about like half the half of a teaspoon, then you sort of place it around the middle. Now they will go into the oven. And leave them in there for 20 minutes. So while that's in the oven, I guess we'll talk about books. I just kind of grabbed the first five books on my bookcase, but I read all of them, so here we go. The Knife of Never Letting Go, which apparently won a Guardian Children's Fiction Prize, written by Patrick Ness. But it's like the really good sort of science fiction where there's like the twisty science fiction -y element and then the rest of it is just like really good dialogue and writing and character development and stuff. So I guess I'll read you the first sentence of each book because it wouldn't be a big spoiler. The first thing you find out when your dog learns to talk is that dogs don't got nothing much to say. I promise it's not a dog book. The Penderwicks by Jean Birdsall. A summer tale of four sisters, two rabbits, and a very interesting boy. For a long time after that summer, the four Penderwick sisters still talked of Arundel. Eric offers the true believer to his thoughts on the nature of masters. It is a truism that many who join a rising revolutionary movement are attracted by the prospect of a sudden and spectacular change in their conditions of life. I would go on, but the cookies are done. I guess that's about what they should look like. But mine came out a bit brown, so... Mine are a bit heavy on the golden brown. Possible that 15 minutes would have been better than 20, so... Hope you all have a lovely weekend, and Elizabeth, I'll see you on Tuesday.